Call Hala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Rakakwadash. Shalom to my elder, Shariyad. Shalom to all the hopefully like elders of the Israelite nation who rule well. Also, namely the hopefully like elder apostles over at the Great Millstone Church. Peace and many blessings be to the hopeful elect men of the Israelite nation, those who are diligently bringing forth the true doctrine of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, namely the brothers that I personally labor with. Peace and many blessings be as well to the rest of the one third, all you true believers out there of the Israelite nation. Shalom to you all. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, and we're going to start at verse 5. It reads, The Lord. Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness. And I read this scripture just to give context to who this is speaking to. And as always, this message is to the Israelites, Zion being another name for Israel in the scriptures. So Israel being today known as so-called black people, the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, and so-called Native American and Seminole Indian people who are scattered amongst the earth. You are Zion. You are the Israelites, God's chosen people. And it says, he being the most high, or Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness. And that judgment and righteousness is the law, statutes, and commandments that were given to our nations to our nation, Salakia, to uphold and to keep, to understand and to pass down from generation to generation and thus making us a holy nation when we're keeping these law, statutes, and commandments. And holy meaning set apart because of the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, which he gave to us, which equates when we're keeping these laws, to us being a people who are set apart and able to govern the earth and first and foremost govern ourselves, but to govern the earth according to these laws, statutes, and commandments. When we're in power, the earth will rejoice. Verse 6 says, In wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And when we read the word shall, we're speaking of prophecy. So what's being said here in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. It's talking about a time that is to come. And the time that is to come that is being spoken of here is the time of Jacob's trouble. And ultimately the day of the Lord, when that all culminates into that day. It says in strength of salvation, because that's. What the true believers of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai are looking forward to. And when I say this true believers of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, of, as of now I'm speaking of the hopeful elect, but ultimately it will play out to be the elect. Those who will go on to receive this salvation, us being saved out of the hands of our enemies, us being saved out of the destruction that is coming to this earth, and mainly the destruction coming here. To this land that's called America, which is, according to the scriptures, going to be destroyed by a nuclear fire. It says the fear, which is the most important part of this whole verse, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right. And the treasure is something that is highly sought out. It's highly regarded. It's held dearly. So that fear of the Lord which we're about to go into is the treasure of the hopeful elect, the true believers of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, who are going to be seeking this wisdom and knowledge, which is going to keep them stable in these times that are to come, these times of trouble. This is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 19, verse 20. It says, the fear of the Lord is all wisdom. So we back to this word fear. And it's going to explain here what that fear is. It says, the fear of the Lord is all wisdom. So all wisdom is fear. And it says, and in all wisdom, 
is the performance of the law. So that's what it comes down to. Being wise is simply performing the laws, statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which are laid out to us in the law. The first five books of the Bible. And we learn how to govern ourselves, how to move, how to remain stable, according to us actually, for one, learning the laws, understanding them, and going forth to actually perform them, meaning physically do them. Physically play out what the book is telling us to do in our judgment, in our everyday life, how we decide to move on something, if we need to counsel on this, you know, everything should be according to the law, the things that we eat, the things that we meditate upon, it's all according to the law, how we govern ourselves. It says in the knowledge of his omnipotency, understanding that the Lord is within all. So the fear of the Lord is all wisdom and in all wisdom is the performance of the law. So being wise is to not be leaning on your own understanding, but to be learning this doctrine and performing this doctrine. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, and verse 24. It reads, therefore, and these are red letters, this implies that Yahweh is speaking. Yahweh being who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. This is the word. He is the word, according to St. John chapter 1. So Matthew 7 and 24 it says, Therefore, whosoever, not losing the context of these scriptures, these con the context of the scriptures is talking to the Israelites. So that whosoever is not whosoever of the, of the whole earth is talking about the Israelite nation, and namely the elect of the Israelite nation. The church, therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine. When you're going into heareth or hearing, simply, it says to be endowed with the faculty of hearing, not deaf. All right. To attend to, to consider what is or has been said. So it's upon meditation. It's ultimately understanding, as it says right here in B, to understand. And that's why I came here is to understand. It's not just literally hearing these words and thinking you know what they are saying. And you going upon your own understanding to perform these things. You have to understand what these things are saying and perform them accordingly. You have to perform them correctly. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and these sayings, again, this is the word speaking. These are red letters. Yeah, how is I speaking? The sayings of his are the words of the book, the words of the Bible, the doctrine. So you have to understand the doctrine of the Bible and do it them. All right. And we go into this word, do it. What does it say? It says to make. See, let me get it right to the point. There it goes right there in E. To perform. Back here to the book of Sirach. Chapter 19 and 20. The fear of the Lord is always is all wisdom. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. So you have to do, meaning you have to, to perform. All right. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man. So a wise man will be performing wisdom, which is performing what this book is telling you to do. That is the way you are to become wise, understanding the true doctrine of this book and moving accordingly. And it says, which built his house and your house is ultimately you, your, your own body, yourself. You know, and it goes on to, you know, obviously the rest of the Israelite nation who are like-minded, which built his house upon a rock. And it specifically says his house, so it's specifically talking about you. All right, but we're all on the same path. 
you know, the true believers of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. And it says he built his house upon a rock. And a rock is a sturdy foundation. That's a place where that you want to build upon. We go into this word rock. So it says, this is what I want here to see. Metaphorically, a man like a rock. So you that house by reason of his firmness and strength of his soul. So that word firmness there. We'll come back here. In fact, just pop back Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. We go into this word stability. The first word there is firmness. All right, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So that's what the treasure is. The treasure is to obtain and understand this doctrine and to move accordingly to it so you can withhold and withstand the times that are coming, the times where the only thing that is going to uphold you is having wisdom and knowledge, and that'll be you performing this doctrine, first understanding it and going forth to perform it. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock, that firmness, that stability, so, Lord willing, this was edifying. Shalom.